Hello everyone, I am Arun Kumar, working as an assistant professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Ramco Institute of Technology and I am the faculty in charge for Renewable Energy Laboratory of our institute and I am here going to explain about the, the facility that we have in our Renewable Energy Laboratory which was established on 28-2-2018 on National Science Day. The Central Electricity Authority reports that the per capita energy consumption required for India during the year 2018-19 is 1200 kilowatt hour against 950 kilowatt hour in the year 2016 and 17. This clearly indicates that the energy demand of our country is increasing day by day and year by year. So as a part of uh, meeting out this energy demand, the government, both central as well as state government is taking a lot of steps to meet out this demand. As a part of minor contribution from our institute, we have inaugurated this laboratory and I'm, I'll explain about the laboratory. I welcome you all for uh, Renewable Energy Laboratory. This laboratory is equipped with uh, working models related to various solar applications which are done as a project by our uh, various batch of students. Now we'll uh, move on to the explanation part. Towards my right, we are having uh, solar stills and uh, these solar stills are meant for uh, converting brackish water into portable water. As the demand of fresh water is uh, rapidly increasing year by year, we have uh, encouraged our students in working towards this uh, solar still, which is one of the methodology for uh, converting brackish water into portable water. And uh, behind me, you can see the various uh, posters or uh, various chart representations, which clearly explains about the uh, abstract experimental procedure, results and discussions of uh, various experimentation. And uh, these are all the various working models that has been uh, fabricated by our uh, students. So this is the conventional solar still and the students have worked on with various solar stills that is meant for improving the productivity of this solar still. Next to solar still, these are all solar dryers which is meant for drying various food items to remove the moisture content. And in this solar dryers, our students have experimented various sensible storage heating materials and compare the performance and the, the explanations and the performance are explained in this poster. And uh, next, uh, here we can see a uh, solar still uh, using uh, heat pipes and uh, this is uh, funded by TNSCST under the student project scheme uh, during the financial, during the academic year 2018 to 19. And uh, here we can see uh, the solar uh, collectors and uh, this is solar disk type collector which is uh, a point focus one and towards left uh, you can see this uh, parabolic uh, truck collector. And here in this working model, our students have experimented by using paraffin wax as a phase chain heat storage material and compare the study with a conventional uh, parabolic truck collector and they have uh, seen a better improvement in uh, efficiency of this parabolic truck collector. And uh, next, to, uh, next to this parabolic truck collector, here we can see a uh, solar cooker with an extended surface which is meant for uh, cooking uh, uh, the food. So here uh, uh, the improvement that has been made by our students is that uh, in a conventional solar cooker it almost takes around uh, 2 to 3 hours for uh, cooking uh, uh, cooking some food and uh, when compared it with this uh, modified uh, extended solar cooker the efficiency was comparatively more than 40% than in a conventional solar cooker and uh, next to this uh, solar cooker is uh, a fish dryer actually it is a hybrid fish dryer which uses both uh, solar energy as well as electrical energy for uh, rain. So the motivation behind doing this project is that a problem statement was coined by IIT Madras to address the problems faced by fishermen in drying the seafoods. So as a part of addressing the problem, our students came up with this uh, idea which is meant for uh, drying the food. And we are having plans to patent and uh, commercialize this product. Once after commercializing, uh, uh, this helps every individual fisherman to add value to their own products and in turn it will be helping them to become self-reliable and improve their livelihood economically. From this renewable energy laboratory in the past two years we have published uh, six papers and we have received a financial grant from uh, TNSCST and a partial financial support from RIT Research Council. Apart from this we have uh, submitted seven project proposals to DST and we have filed uh, two patents from this renewable energy laboratory. In future, we are having plans to uh, develop this laboratory as a research come innovation center of all forms of renewable sources of energy. Thank you.